Thanks, everyone. Great to see you all here today. Welcome, welcome. Um, and thank you to our uh, first two speakers. I've lost... Oh, there you are. Yeah, but right in front of me. Fantastic. Um, I've already extended the olive branch out on Twitter, actually, Sam. I think you've already seen it. Um, we'd certainly be very keen um, to facilitate those two areas being uh, here in the UK, obviously. I think you probably guessed we'd do that. I certainly hope you would. Um, well, you, well, we've got a particularly good audience because, of course, we have Manchester represented... And we do have the West Midlands represented as well. Where are you? There, Mike. So, and I live in Birmingham, so I'd be very keen for the West Midlands to also be um, part of that. Um, no self-interest, of course. Uh, I'm not going to mention Europe either. I'm very glad... <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. Um, uh, I, I, but I, I'm really pleased, though, the fact that uh, uh, we do have this very... Um, broad and open uh, collection of people here today and I hope that that represents uh, something about the spirit of Travel Spirit. I didn't think that one through before I said it. Um, I hope that represents what the spirit of Travel Spirit will be and I will certainly be coming on to that um, in my slides. Now you have to excuse me that I'm not as well prepared as I'd usually like. Um, just mentioning Europe again of course in my actual day job with Alstom it's meant I've been a little bit busy as you might imagine over the last few days so bear with me I haven't got very long and then we can drink coffee um, but what I want to talk about what my job here today is to tie together the first two um, excellent presentations we've had and then set up the rest of the rest of the day um, to talk travel spirit uh, you, the community, the Travel Spirit community that have made the effort to come today, and thank you very much for doing that. I really appreciate it. Um, and as a particular reward, I'm not going to do my usual thing of making you all stand up for some kind of um, exercise, so be grateful for that. So I need to talk about who, who, who are we, how do we work, and what do we want? Well, who are we, but it's fairly easy to start with. Um, I need to point out, because he's so far managed to avoid... Much, um, much exposure. Simon, stand up, please. <laughs> Simon Ho, and I would like to actually invite a, a round of applause for Simon for all the hard work. <laughs> I think I first had a conversation with Simon about mobility service all oh, quite a while ago now, and I'm delighted that all the effort he's put into it has got us to this point today. So that's really excellent work, Simon. And let's, let's make sure it's all worth it as well. I'm sure it will be. Um, and, well, there's, there's me, of course. Rob, Rob Taylor, our Chief Technology Officer at the back there. Uh, and Lucy, Lucy, you're here. There you are. <laughs> and an awful lot of other people besides as well. But, but the four of us, I, I think, have been... Uh, well, sorry, the three of us have been pinned down by Simon. Um, to take on a second part-time job uh, on the side of our day jobs, thank you, uh, in, order to, in order to help drive forward the Travel Spirit community um, and to bring you guys together, actually, because that's actually all about all of us um, and delivering not just Sampo's dream, but the dream of a great many of us um, over a number of years of really turning uh, transport on its head. And I very much hope we can do that. Now, it's really important to emphasise that Travel Spirit is... It has a global perspective, okay? It's been born in Manchester, um, and I think that's probably relevant because I, was, I have to specifically point out, of course, that born in Manchester is positive because Rochdale, very close by part of Manchester, is home of the cooperative movement. So they have got it in. Um, uh, and, and actually, that is a really important point, that, that idea around the, the, the collaboration, the community, the cooperation between us. And what we want to achieve... Um, is something that is for really genuinely for public benefit. That's really important. Um, as well as being that trusted global brand for enabling, enabling mobility as a service. So we're not a commercial entity. We exist purely for public benefit to deliver mobility as a service. That's what we're all passionate about. That's what we want to do. That's, that's, that's hopefully what we're going to help all of you do as well with us. Uh, crowdfunded for the public benefit. I'm very proud to see... My, my business, well, sorry, my, the company I work for, not my business, goodness, um, Alstom, um, along with a number of others, Transport for Greater Manchester, of course. I don't want to pick out everyone, but obviously I'm just going to have to now, so Ordnance Survey, Hive IT, who have been very kind and supportive, CodeThink, Rob's business, um, Accenture, uh, the Caspult, there are two Caspults involved, aren't there, and Department for Transport, of course, uh, Lucy. And I need to give particular thanks as well to our host today, uh, the University of Manchester, thank you very much indeed for hosting us. Um, if there's someone here to 
listen to, hear that and feed it back. We are very grateful. And likewise, the Institute of Engineering and Technology, who have, check my notes, sponsored part of today as well. They've sponsored the catering. Thank you very much indeed. Um, it's very much in the spirit of travel spirit, so we're extremely grateful. Thank you very much indeed. Um, and more then about our partners as well, of course, the people who work with us who also want are playing a part in helping us uh, come together and deliver our ambition for mobility as a service. So I won't go through everyone there in detail, but hopefully you'll recognise all of those names. Um, Sampo, you're there, top left, of course. Rattling, I'm conscious of the coffee, you see. So let me get to the where are we heading part of, part of the uh, equation here. So platforms competing for world domination. Uh, one of the, I think both of the earlier speakers have mentioned, um, certainly Sampo, that we in the transport sector have perhaps... Um, always hoped that we'd maintain this, this, this closed ranks where it would be the, the operating companies, the infrastructure businesses like, like ours, um, would ca always carry on with delivering transport without any kind of disruption from the outside world. Um, and I think it's fairly clear now that that's not going to be the case. Um, Google self-driving cars are obviously well known, Apple... Um, we're also seeing car manufacturers moving almost away from, not away from manufacturing cars, but certainly looking at completely different business models. Um, and that matters. That matters hugely for, for the rest of us, not just in the transport sector as jobs, but actually how we go about enjoying, taking advantage of transport, really. Um, and that's led to, I think, the opportunity, the ideas of people, the dreamers, the dreamers like many of us, I suppose, that we could really see transport being delivered in a different way. And that means you're going to see, hopefully, a challenge from individuals, inventors, innovators, startups, SMEs, to get into this space, to come into the transport sector and make that difference. And that's where we want to head. That's where we want to go with Travel Spirit, is we want to help uh, these, these, these integrators, these platforms, these, these inventors, um, <coughs> to take part in this transport disruption that we're all here to see, right? That's what we're all here for, I hope. And there are going to be challenges ahead. Sampo, I'm very grateful to, has, has rattled through them in detail, which means I can accelerate onwards um, with, with, what I'm talking, with what I need to get across to you today. But hopefully you've already heard a lot that's made you think, and actually I will do an exercise. I'm presuming you all know about mobility as a service uh, already before you came today, but how many people are actively involved in some kind of activity around designing, delivering, developing abilities of service. Just a show of hands. Okay, now I'm really excited. That's fantastic. So you're already actively doing that, and I'm hoping that everyone who didn't put their hands up is in interested and in wanting to get involved as well. Yeah, I'm going to assume that's the case. Uh, that's the <laughs> yeah, thank you, Raf. So welcome, welcome, welcome to our world today, I suppose, is, is, is a key part of this. Like I said, we're an open source community. Um, that's our passion. No one person or organisation can take control of this. This is about everyone. This is about the collective um, effort and the collective benefit um, of Travel Spirit. And those are really important principles to, to hammer home to all of you. I should say we're held in trust. They're held in trust by a community interest company, um, which equals a global commons, but the point being, um, this is for the, for the good of the many and not controlled. And I should thank, another thank you here, Simon Phipps at the top, who is public software CIC, who, who essentially provides the business um, capability, business model for us, really. Um, and that's another innovative thing, I, I, I hope. Um, sorry, it's not I hope. An innovative aspect of travel spirits and perhaps something that will really grow in the future and that, again, something else we can put down on the list of things we're hoping will make a difference for all of you. Now, this hopefully isn't as complex as it looks. Um, it needed a little bit of explaining to me, but I had had a long day when I saw it, so you have to excuse me for that. If you picture from moving from the left to the right, starting off with our legal basis as an open source licensed community, moving across to the tech world first, and that's a big thing for traditional transport people, um, me included, of, of that automatic assumption, no, it's all about us, the transport community. No, it's not, actually. Transport community comes next, but we need that integration, of those, those layers of integration that bring together all the different interests, um, investments, uh, infrastructures, 
into a place that comes back to the important people, the end user. And that's actually a really important point I do want to get across. My vision of mobility as a service has always been about transport being flipped on its head, of it being centred around every individual user and doing it rather than having transport done to you as a, you will have the bus from that stop to that stop, you will get the train from that stop to that stop, and you can, you can really just make it work for yourself. And that's not what it should be. Transport should be liberating because it's meant to be about us as individuals getting to where we want to go. That is, after all, the fundamental point of it. So that's why I'm passionate about mobility as a service. Goals and objectives for travel spirit. Um, hopefully you know all of these already. Um, I'm imagining from the fact you, you've already signed up to this, but it's important again just to hammer home that public point, uh, sorry, that public benefit point, that we want to be, we are an open source licensed community, and we want to create commercially viable, sorry, we want to support the creation <coughs> of commercially viable abilities as a service solutions. So we want to work with everyone here, and it's great that so many of you are already working at this. I look forward to, as the day progresses to finding out more about. Um, how we can all work together to form that community of collaborating businesses with that shared goal, that shared big benefit of creating and building a market for mobility as a service that we can all play a part in, that we can all find a space in and where we all benefit and that's as, as transport users as well as the innovators and investors um, in this space. And it's meant to be empowering as well. It's meant to again focus on that point I just made that it should be focused on the customer rather than on a piece of kit. And I remember from my days, I think it was at the Catapult actually, where we always talked about um, it should be focused around the pull of the market rather than the push from technology. I think that's a really important point um, to make to all of you. We're on the home straight here, guys. Stay with me. So I love this. I'm guessing this is from a Cats v Dogs film or, or something, is it? Is that right? Um, I loved it anyway. And I, I'm well known. If you follow me on Twitter, you know that apart from transport and Wimbledon and some politics and stuff, that I love cats as well, obsessively. Um, so I'm really pleased to see that. So what do we want out of today? Well, first of all, your participation. Uh, that's really important. The fact you're here today is the first thing. Now it's for you to, to stand up, speak, tell us, share your ideas, share your thoughts, share what you're actually doing, um, and look for the opportunities. I mean, certainly, I'm hoping that what I can get out of today is for Sampo to bring mobility to service into the UK in the next couple of months. I mean, I'm going to hold you to that time scale, that's for sure. Yeah, 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 definitely. What does it look like for a city like Manchester and Birmingham? That's an important addition. Sorry, sorry, sorry but you can't just make me go all Manchester, I'm afraid. Um, what's it look like for a city? How, how can we apply it? That's where the, 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 pe the, the people here, well, I suppose with the transport experience, um, can, can add their... Can add their their knowledge to the tech, um, tech, our tech colleagues as well, and bringing together those shared ideas, those two sides is where we will develop these wins. And then it's about, importantly, where do we go next? What are the best, um, I suppose, steps we can take in the near future that can create the best possible outcomes um, quickly, effectively, where we can get a real foothold, I suppose, in people's thinking about what the future of transport looks like and how we can get there. That's the really important um, aspect for me. So, this is, we hope, the beginning of the journey towards implementing mobility as a service here in the UK. Um, I think it's possible, and I think we're really close as well. We've got a number of panel discussions, sorry, we've got two panel discussions and a number of round tables coming up through the day. I'm hoping you've all got a copy of the agenda for the day. They were being handed out at reception. If not, please come down uh, uh, straight after me. Uh, I finish in a couple of minutes and uh, we'll find some more to, to share with you. Um, in terms of how the day is going to work, I believe that the round tables, we're choosing which one we go to um, within those groups. And there's a, a, a pricey of each one um, for this afternoon. Um, between now and then, we've got two excellent panel discussions. And I'm, I don't mean to say I'm astonished. I think what I'm trying to say is I'm thrilled to see the quality of people we've got. And I know that I'm going to learn an awful lot about today, and I'm really excited about hearing um, all the speakers who are following, as well as the two we've already had. Um, I actually can't believe that there are so many people here that I've, I've, I've known of for so long over social media um, in this space who've actually all bothered to turn up. Um, and I think that shows you quite how exciting it is. It's also the idea of, you know, if the roof fell in, would mobility as a service be ended in the world? That would be it, because we're all, we're all here in the same place. So I got slightly frightened by that earlier, so I thought if I put it all down on Twitter, that might make it better somehow. 
so that's me, look. So I think, um, have a great day. Thank you for coming. Please keep in, in touch. Um, please get involved and please play an active part in this community as it grows. Thank you very much.